Hello, in this video I'm going to demo the 3D dice roller package. So I'm in our demo scene right now, and I'm going to click on roll dice, and it'll roll these two die. Uh, this little player token object will move around the board depending on what we roll. I'll do one more here. Alright, so we're in our demo scene. Let's first talk about the dice manager. So this is just an empty game object that has the dice manager script on it. And the important thing here is your dice list. Um, you have your dice list and then your total value. This total value field will just um, show the value of all the die in the list after they're rolled. You don't need to enter anything in here. So your dice list, right now we have two dice, and we just have a reference of, of them in the demo scene dragged in. Uh, if I want to add more die, it's really easy. I can type four here, and we'll have four die. So I'm going to click on these two in the scene, and duplicate them. And then we just need to go in our dice manager and drag them into the dice list. There we go. Now, if I click play, we're going to have four die, and when I click roll dice, all four of them will get rolled, and then the value will be calculated, 14. Yeah, you can have any number of dice that you want, you just have to make sure that you have them in the scene, and you reference them into that list. And then, we also have the end roll event, this is pretty important too, in the dice manager. So after every dice in the list stops moving and it gets added together, this end roll event is called. And you can call any public function you want in here. So right now in our demo scene, I have a player token script that I made for demo purposes. And that takes this little um, blue cylinder and it moves it around the board. Um, the total value amount of spaces. So if I roll a six, it'll move it six little squares. And you can do whatever you want with your um, dice value here in the end roll event. So let's look at the dice. Each dice object, it is a cube. It has a rigid body and a collider on it, and then it has the dice script. Uh, the dice script is pretty simple. You have your value, this will just show you 1 to 6, whatever, um, after it rolls, whatever the value is. You don't have to enter anything into here. It just shows you what the value is. And then you have your min roll force and your max roll force. So, when the dice is rolled, it chooses a value between the min and the max roll force, and that's how strong the roll is, The that, like, pop upward. Um, I chose 50 and 60. You're... If you scale your dice or change the mass on the rigid body, you're going to want to change these values. Uh, just play with it until it feels right. And then you have your roll event. Similar to the dice manager, this is called when this dice, after it's done rolling, it stops moving. It calls this event. And um, you can have more than one function called here, any public function, but it's important if you're using the dice manager that you have dice manager dot count all die values you're gonna wanna make sure to call that on each dice and what this function does is it basically tells the dice manager hey I rolled this value 1 through 6 and then when the dice manager gets um, a value from every dice in its list it's gonna add them together and give you your total value so make sure on your dice you have this um, dice manager dot count all die values being called um, alright, so let's move to the all colors scene. Um, this scene shows all the different colors and textures of dye available. Um, and there's 16 dye in this scene, so let's see what happens when we roll all of these. Forty-seven. Yeah, we'll give it one more roll because it's fun. 
one last thing I want to show off here is the button. So this button, it just calls, on click it calls the, the dice manager dot roll all die. So you just call that function and it's going to roll every single dice in your dice manager list. And uh, let's see here, other last things, <clears throat> we have um, the dice is physics based so on our board here it's surrounded by a bunch of invisible colliders. <clears throat> Without this the die would just go flying so it's important to have some colliders to keep it um, I mean, keep it contained in your um, scene. And all the walls I threw this bouncy material on just so the dice rolls around a little bit. Um, but I think that is everything in this video so Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me.